in this video, I want to start a new series that will definitely look a little bit more like some of the other series that I've been doing in terms of talking about different directions I think people can go for the upcoming water resolution that I just overall think are really important perspectives on how we're thinking about different uh, critical arguments and debate, especially uh, executing them, how people answer them, etc. from different vantage points. And so <clears throat> going into this series, I want to introduce a new set of arguments, well not like new to debate, but different from any of the ones that I've talked about so far, which is black Marxism and its relationship to the occurring water resolution. This I think is a really interesting way to talk about the resolution because I think there are a lot of ways in which the writing of uh, how people are thinking about like the black radical tradition and relationship to Marxism and developments along like socialism, um, various uh, different variations of communism, um, anarchism, etc., and various responses to both anti-blackness and capitalism and the way in which they kind of uh, <clears throat> relate to how we think about the uh, upcoming water resolution as a whole, I think are really, really interesting places to situate a critique that I think really gets at the crux of what a lot of like central questions that could be asked in the resolution and allows you to really get at um, critiquing um, I think all of really the central mechanisms that people will be taking up in order to talk about the ways in which we ensure water protections and like what those kind of look like across like various types of affirmatives. And so I think this also becomes a strategy in which you can really take a lot of uh, critical teams on the other side uh, up on the question of just like what practice looks like in terms of like how important like the water is as a resource and like the kind of impending crisis that it poses to like the very like material conditions that people face in communities broadly. And so I think overall it's just a really interesting conversation to raise on the upcoming water resolution that I definitely want to talk about. When I'm thinking about um, uh, authors that uh, I really want to cite when thinking about Black Marxism, I'm really thinking broadly just starting with the work of people like uh, Cedric Robinson and the people who I think uh, you may be familiar with on other resolutions such as Jackie Wang and her writing about um, the Flint water crisis, I think are really integral works in order to kind of like start maybe reading up on just like what Black Marxism is as like an idea, what racial capitalism is as an idea, and kind of what it means <clears throat> in order to kind of like think about so many things in terms of the central questions that really water protection is asked as like a central kind of like paradigm for how we think about the resolution as a whole i think that when you're asking just the question of just like what is racial capitalism and what is black marxism i think that when you're really trying to answer that question racial capitalism is usually defined as a term that um is used to mark a particular analysis of his history and the way that um we think about um particular interpretations of marx that attempt to understand like the events of like like slavery, native genocide, and just generally racial dispossession as particular types of historical uh, events that kind of change the way in which we think of like the concept of the worker. It it changes the way in which we think about like the conception of the lumpen proletariat. And a lot of the times when people are talking about Black Marxism, they're following along um various um <clears throat> types of interpretations of Marxism that people have carried along from like the way in which the Black Panthers were kind of like reinterpreted Mao and it's kind of like relevancy to the way in which other movements have kind of like taken up various interpretations of like how we think about the kind of progression of industrialization and its relationship to like the production of racism and racial segregation and I think that uh, these types of central arguments are really important for the water resolution partially because I think the question of like racial segregation has a lot to do with like questions of spatiality that I think are integral to water and access like and like the question of access to water as a whole but I also think that when you're kind of asking the question of what it looks like to kind of like envision a different way of organizing politics to like create the possibility for water protections I think that black Marxism operates as a response that really speaks to very different types of organizational methods to really like talk through different ways of redistributing how we think about like the institutions that have control over things like water resources water protections etc and what they do in order to really attend to some of the various complexities that kind of like face the resolution from various perspectives and I think that being able to really like think of like these as kind of like the central arguments that really frame the various ways that you can contend with all types of affirmatives on the other kind of resolution and as a justification for the creation of affirmatives that are kind of like written in order to think about something outside of the central mechanisms that are offered on the resolution could definitely be really interesting ways to think about water protection. When I first start to think about like what are the main ways to think about like water protections on the affirmative and relationship to black Marxism I think that the first thing I start to think about is like <clears throat> some of the idea from what 
Jackie Rang writes about in Carceral Capitalism when she's uh, talking about the idea of how the Black Panthers were thinking about like racial co- uh, racial um, capitalism in relationship to industrialization and technology. A lot of the arguments that they were kind of like writing about at the time had a lot to do with the idea of like sabotaging infrastructure and institutions, which I think are ones that definitely greatly relate to the ones that are used to create and ensure water protections, but also the ability to establish and take up institutions that are ordered to that are uh, able to kind of like create um the various forms of redistribution in their own sense and i think the implementation of such a method and the exploration of like what type of organizational frame could be used to accomplish such a method of sabotage and like a method of redistribution either invested in maybe like traditional more traditional kind of black radical framings of like socialism or other framings of the ways that we think about like uh various movements that have kind of like moved into like further um closer to the present talking uh, that have invested more in kind of like anarchistic more uh, methods and other forms of like community distribu- distribution that I think could be really interesting ways to just challenging some of the mechanisms that people are kind of like already settling on in terms of the water resolution it could also <clears throat> just generally I think push you towards a place where you're really checking off all the boxes in terms of focusing the debate on the key questions of like materiality that allow you to access both large scale impacts but also really contest with the core kind of controversies that are on the resolution which I think is good to answer like any type of set of questions on the affirmative and then I think on the negative it can be really important uh, to just think about the ways in which you open up various alternative methods for different types of organizational structures that you can use in order to contest both with the uh, types of ways that uh, particular types of policy affirmatives try to use and take up things like for instance the use of like public spaces or the use of like the public things like the public trust doctor and courts and all these other mechanisms in order to check things like the government and privatization and try to think about ways that you could push with alternative explanation really the types of mechanisms that we use in order to hold the government accountable or to resist against the types of structures that kind of produce the current privatization of water but also I think it allows you a really good diagnosis of what a lot of these affirmatives are really going to try to get at which is saying that capitalism and neoliberalism and the kind of force and push towards privatization is really what controls the question of like violence on the water protectionist topic and I think having an argument about why the state is inevitably kind of connected and entrapped with these private institutions because of their various investments into like racial segregation into the continuation of like the privatization of wealth can definitely be really interesting ways for you to really make it hard for these teams that are trying to move closer to the left to really get the juice out of the um, kind of like more soft left impacts and scenarios that they're reading which I think forces them to really go into much more like generic places for you to really like force your offense and then against K teams I still think it allows you to make a lot of the like moves that are your most comfortable with in the cap debate when you really try to like push the debate of why materiality is particularly important on questions like the water topic when it's such a central resource to how communities are able to organize them and is posed as such an important topic in like so many like different types of community conversations that I think when centralizing the debate on this year's resolution can be really important and relevant in any debate that you have. Hopefully this was helpful for you, and hopefully you'll tune into the rest of the series I'll be doing on Black Marxism on Water, and yeah, I hope you enjoy it.